But we do have a Tombstone of Terror over here, too. See if we can get him going. Ay, yep. <laughs> you scare me, you little spooky guy. All right, guys, today we are at location number two in Lincoln, Nebraska, at this Spirit Halloween, which appears to be in an old Gordman's. I believe that's what that label scar looks like. This is in a shopping center on 27th Street, right next to a famous footwear, where I'm very tempted to go in and see if they have some awesome new kicks, but not until we're done in here. Spirit Halloween in the old Gordman's, Lincoln, Nebraska. Let's do this. All right, right in the door we see Lord Raven and the Possessed Pumpkin, as we always do. You know what? Let's skip these guys for right now. Skip the whole Monster Laboratory. This is an enormous looking store, guys. And let's go ahead and just look it around at some other stuff that we haven't seen. Like, have we seen this hat? Stay spooky? I think we have seen that hat. We have not spent any time looking at these skeleton costumes here. So let's start up here. We have the skeleton vest. We have the skeleton romper. That is actually kind of cool. Let's see, we have the skeleton poncho. Oh yeah, I love that. I love these ponchos. I've talked about these in other videos too. That looks totally awesome. Here's a skeleton lady and a skeleton dress. Look, we have skeleton leggings here, another kind of skeleton leggings, and those are perfect to wear with your skeleton poncho. And then for a dude, oh my gosh, look at this, a skeleton suit. If I was skinny, I would buy it. I gotta get skinny for next year, man. We have the Plague Doctor costumes out here, which, okay, here's a whole costume, includes the robe, collar, hood, hat, mask, gloves, and belt. And then up here, this is a little bit different. Um, jacket with attached hooded cape, gloves, belt, and mask. And then over here we have the Plague Doctor mask. Uh, oh, look at this, a syringe. Here's a different Plague Doctor mask. That's kind of cool. They have a Plague Doctor hood over here. This is kind of a dark area of the store. But look at this, a whole Plague Doctor tool set. That is scary. I would not want to see somebody coming at me with this stuff. Here's a Plague Doctor hat. Yeah, all this stuff is black, so it's really tough to see over here. Yeah, this is more like it over here. We have better lighting in this area of the store. So let's look at this. We have a Jessie kit from Toy Story. Her name is Jessie, the yodeling cow girl, oodle oodle tee. And we have Mr. Potato Head inflatable. That's a really awesome costume right there. We got the Toy Story Mrs. Buzz Lightyear. Look, it's Mrs. Nesbitt. And of course we have Woody, the whole Woody kit, badge, ban badge, bandana, belt buckle, hat, and vest. Wait, we have a couple more over here. We have another Jesse, oodley, oodley, teep. Then we have a Woody here. We have another Mrs. Nesbitt here. And this is the most awesome ever, the Pizza Planet jacket and hat. They have this awesome Gremlins stuff here. I love the Gremlins, guys. And this, I've pointed it out in a couple of stores, the stripe mask, that is really, really cool. Of course, we have Gizmo. We have the Gizmo backpack. Who the heck is Greta? Greta must be from Gremlins 2. I didn't really care much for Gremlins 2. We got a Gizmo inflatable costume here and a union suit that's like a one-piece thing. We have the marshmallow costumes here. Look, this is a jacket. We got the hooded jumpsuit that's like a skeleton. We got the shirt, and apparently this comes with, oh yeah, this comes with a mask. It's just like a half a mask. Here you go, there's a lot more marshmallow stuff over here, including the full mask is the, oh, hold on, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Push this button and it glows. Different lights turn on, it changes different colors. And this is the full head helmet. I like this silver one here, but it's not a full head helmet. And then of course you have the microphone here. Ooh, let's see what happens when you push the button. Nothing. Here's all the Batman and Harley Quinn stuff. I honestly am really surprised 
that Harley Quinn is such a hot costume, but apparently it is because they are stocked. We got the Joker jacket here. Okay, we got the suspenders, the bow tie, we got the Joker mask, and this is the one with the moving jaw. Oh my gosh, I just noticed the eyebrows move too. <laughs> This is actually pretty cool. Look, we have the whole Joker outfit down here, the Joker suit, and then the Riddler suit. That is awesome. We got the Black Panther here, and then let's see, we got some Wonder Woman stuff. We got Superman costumes here, and WandaVision. I've never seen WandaVision. We've got the Squid Game stuff here. This is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have seen Squid Game or not. I kind of like loved it, and I also hated it. I love this uh, red light green light costume here but i don't know the acting was just bad in my opinion they have spongebob spatula yes you know what guys let's look and see what animatronics they have on the floor for sale we got two shorties here there's a whole stack of stuff over here look we got a grim down here we got a young crouchy we have two nozzles creepy crimson girl on a swing we've got one two three little skelly bones here two i think two no there's three tombstones of terror an empty soul girl on a swing and a reagan i wonder if my blue and purple scream masks are in that pile because that looks like scream masks on there of course as always we have the jumping spiders there hmm they must be selling out pretty quick guys let's move over this way and see if there's any more animatronics on the floor for sale over here and I do not see any more. Wow, they are selling their stuff pretty quick, guys. All right, let's take a little trip through the laboratory and see who we have. We have both Barry and we have Mr. Young Crouchy here. Leave some stickers for you. See if we can get Barry going. There we go, he's working pretty dang good. We got the sounds of death. The bubbles of death. The monitor of death. Leave some stickers for the bubbles of death. All right, let's look at some more costumes. Look at this. We've got all this Ghostbusters stuff here, which is awesome. The jumpsuits here. We got an inflatable stay puffed. We got the PKE meter. We got the ecto goggles. The proton packs. We even have jackets here. These are pretty dang awesome. Spangler jacket, and that's look, looks like a real patch. It's probably just Velcroed on there, so you could change it if you want. Oh, yeah, look at this. So, in the pocket here, here's the oh, I don't, I don't want to pull it out, they're stuck in there. But here's the names of the other guys, the other Ghostbusters, and you can change this to be whichever one you want. We got Scooby Doo, it looks like all the characters are here. We got Velma, we got Fred. What the heck? I stumbled because that doesn't look like Fred. <laughs> we got Fred. We got Shaggy. There's the costume. Those just must be um, wigs. But we got the Fred costume, the Daphne, the Velma, the Shaggy. And we got the Scooby-Doo costume right down here. And we got the Scooby-Doo girl costume right there. And, as usual, there's a Barnacle Boy costume but no Mermaid Man. What the heck is up with that? We do have the inflatable SpongeBob and Patrick. Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse stuff over here. Then you have all this Dr. Seuss cat in the hat. Oh my gosh, look at this. It is a crossbody bag from the cat in the hat, like a fish bowl with the fish in it. That is hilarious. We got thing wigs for if you're a chick or a dude. Thing number kit. Oh, okay, these are patches. So how many are there? It looks like there's about 10 patches in there. Maybe I'm wrong, but I bet you anything it goes up to Thing 10. So like if your entire family wanted to be Cat in the Hat things, you could get these wigs and then you could get the number kits. And I think that's like thing number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If there's actually 10 in there, I can't tell, but it sure looks like it. Let's see if they have the blanket I'm looking for. I want that scream blanket that says about scary movies and chill, and I don't see it here. However, I do like this one, the Universal Monsters. That is pretty cool. 
Oh, look at this. I haven't spent much time looking at these trick-or-treat bags. This is Slimer. That's hilarious. It's a hand. You stick it out and you say trick-or-treat and they put the candy in there and it goes right down into a Slimer bag. What is this one though? This one's blue. Oh, it's Stay Puffed. How cool is that? All right, let's see who we have back here. Yes, we have the Sneaky Cats. I'm gonna leave some stickers there in the bucket. We have the Secret Keeping Cats, and we have the Hello Rat. We have a plethora of zombie babies here, and then of course we have the Creepy Dolls. We have Eerie Emma, the Creepy Baby Doll. We have a Hugs. We have uh, Pumpkin Nesters down here, Rosalie and Decrepit Donna. I think the least seen creepy dolls this season for me have been Crouchy and Uncle Charlie. These are the ones I see in just about every store. Maybe even the vintage clown doll. I haven't seen him very much. All right, we can't not go through the electrical room of death and I'm doing it wrong. Let's try that again. Okay, we can't not go through the electrical room of death. All right, let's pay a visit to Nozzles here before we get done. Wow, he just keeps going and going. You know what, guys? Let's grab this toxic clown mask here and compare him to the actual nozzles over here. What do you guys think? Did they get it right? I think it looks pretty good. The eyes on the mask here light up just like nozzles. Um, he definitely still has the jalapeno nose. You'd probably have to put some kind of foam or something in it, though, to make it stick out like that one. But all in all, I think they did a good job. Let's just look at the masks real quick here, just in case they decided to put some scream masks over here, which I would really, really love to have, and I'm not seeing them. <sighs> what a major bummer. I do see the five-foot Beetlejuice snakes, though, and the Lydia Sidesteppers, and they have some awesome inflatables over here. We got Sam, as usual. We got the ghost face and the killer clowns from outer space. And let's not forget for you retail aficionados, all the things that show that you, this used to be a Gordman's in here. Look over here, it says home accents on the wall. This says guest services up here. And you can even see a little bit of stuff back there. I think that says Junior's. Oh, and here's one more before we go. At another store I was just recently at, they were just putting this out. Ichigo mask. I don't know if that's how you say it or not, but it's bleach. I don't even know what that is. Some kind of an anime thing. Pretty cool looking mask though. And they have the blue spirit mask from Avatar. This is all My Hero Academia. They have Demon Slayer here. And then they have a couple of Avatar things over here. As well as Naruto. All right, let's say hi to these guys real quick before we go to, we got the possessed pumpkin. You little monsters have been carving up my friends for years. I know, you told me a million times. We also have the Lord Raven. He, oh, he's kind of quirky there. Oh, he's trying to work. There he goes. Okay, you can barely hear him. Let's go on back here and do, I think, the last one on the floor that we haven't done, and that is Grim. Maybe we did him already in the beginning. I don't remember. He is actually super loud. Oh, we do have a Tombstone of Terror over here, too. See if we can get him going. Ay, yep. <laughs> you scare me, you little spooky guy. And with that, I'm out and on to the next Spirit Halloween. Stick around. Because I think we have about 56 more to go. Maybe only 55, something like that. 100 of them this season, guys. 100. Hundred.